engineer here and today I want to show you this code I made um, yeah let's just uh, get into it so it's basically a word counter for Python and if you would like to download the code uh, the source uh, code for the for the code is in the github link in the description so if you want to download it go in the description um, yeah so let's just get right into it so basically what I'm thinking of doing right now is counting the words and then outputting how many words there are and then the most important part of the or the main part of the code is to like um is to basically plot the five most common words i guess so let's just get right into it so i'm going to import a few a few libraries here for uh, data visualization visualization and a couple of other things so i'm just going to import c1 as a sns import Matplotlib is pyplot. Oh, sorry, pyplot is plt. And I think I forgot to save this as a as a Python file, so I'm just gonna do a word counter. All right, and then I also need from collections import counter, and just this just counts. Uh, you can do with counter you can count the the most common words and stuff so yeah and so yeah let's just get right into it so I think yeah I also need numpy array numpy as NP so that's that's gonna be pretty much it for the for the NP as the NP yeah that, that's gonna be pretty much it for the for the imports let's just get uh, right into it with the variables so I'll just call this text and we'll ask the user for the input. So input enter um, enter your text or something like that. So they're inputted text and I'll give them the output. And then we'll just put a new line. So maybe there there's a big text, so just a little new line. Alright. So now I'm gonna input uh, I'm gonna initialize a couple of variables. So basically there's gonna be number of words or most common words common words yeah, empty list most common values is equal to this so basically the most common words will be words and their the most common values will be their values so they're going to be corresponding values to corresponding words because we're going to add them at the same time so we add one word we add one value like that so it's going to uh, when we plot it, it's going to be the same correlating values, and we'll just call this most common, which will be the uh, the array with the co the words and the values. But we'll have to separate it for the plot. So I'm just going to make a initial, not not an initialization, but an instance of the class counter. So I'm just going to call it counter with a lowercase is equal to counter that. And and then it's going to be counter dot most common. And now you can see you can put the most common. So this is going to be counter of te text. Here you go. Counter counter text. Okay. And counter dot most common. And then it's going to be five. So we're passing in a text here, and then we're getting the most common five. So I'm just going to go print this out, and we'll see how we can. What's the output? So, see codes, see codes, Python 3 word counter.py. Actually, I forgot to go into my virtual environment, so slash n slash bin slash Whoops, I forgot the tab. There you go. Now let's run this again. Word counter. So enter your text. I'm gonna enter like hello, 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 everybody. How are you doing today? And oh, I forgot to split it. So basically, now it's counting the most common letters. If you wanna do that, that's fine. But now I'm counting the most common words. So you have to split it at the space and you just pass it an empty. Uh, empty parentheses into the text dot split which means you're going to split it at the space so let's run this again um yeah hello everybody how are you 
doing today. <laughs> okay, so perfect. So you can see that uh, it works. So we're doing is run twice or it's appearing twice. Hello once, everybody once, and everything else once. So let's let's make a dictionary out of this. So I'm just gonna do this. So or um, how can I say this? Like. Hmm. Maybe just try to be cool. To dictionary counter. So I can make a dictionary. Whoops. Not open blender. So now you can see that this works perfectly. So we got the the uh, the word and we got the amount. So this will be perfect for our uh, our. Uh, I forgot. I forgot what I was going to say. So, this is going to be perfect for our plot. So, we're just going to do for the X, or the X axis is going to be the word, or the key. Yeah, the key. Okay. So, I also need to initialize some variables. Oh, here they are, actually. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So, we're just going to delete this, and I'm just going to make a function here to just get the, the easy things out of the way, and... Uh, I'm just gonna delete this one, put it on top for pep eight. Pep eight boys. <laughs> okay, that's gonna that's gonna be fine for now. Um so now let's just count the words and uh, print it out. So for word in text dot split. And then I'm just gonna put a variable here. It's gonna be total words equals zero total words plus equal one so every word we're going to increment one and and then i'm going to make a function out of this and it's going to be count words and that's going to take the text and boom um, and okay I, I keep closing this one um so yeah just make a function out of that and we're going to return f strings of course easy way out <laughs> uh the total number of words in your text is and then like that and total words words yeah total word, words total words okay so yeah, that's gonna be good, and we can just run that to see if it works. Count words, text, perfect, and let's run that. Hello, that's some random stuff. All right, look of our both total words were first, were first referenced before assignment. So basically, let's see it, what it says here. Total words before reference before assignment. Yeah, okay, I see. So basically we can we're just gonna we can we're gonna put this one in the in the in the function that should work. Fine. Right, some random stuff. The total number of words in your text is five. One, two, three, four, five. That, that works. Okay. So now that we know that works. Gonna put it if underscore name equals equal underscore main, and basically what this says if if the file is being run from the same file, then here we can just run main like that and main oh, whoops and main is gonna be find main. I didn't mean to run that. Okay, the find main and that's gonna count words with text. That's be perfect. All right. Now we need to do one thing more. So we need to start plotting it. So if you want to plot it, we need an X, a Y, and some other values, but uh, we'll, we'll think about that later. So let's just um, make a function here, define plot, or hmm, how, what should I name it? So plot graph, it should be good, I guess. Plot graph, and I'll take X and Y. X and Y should be good. So, 
so actually let me see actually yeah i have a better idea so before this we need to start adding the values to most common words and most common values because now we have them in the counter which is a dictionary and we cannot use dictionaries in the the plotting uh function so we'll have to use dictionaries so i'm just gonna make a for loop so yeah for word and then it's gonna be values values in counter oops the items the items yeah like that and then we'll just add it so most common words dot append word and then it's gonna be most common values dot append the values there we go so let's just print most common values and let's also print most common words okay so let's just run this again hello hello is gonna be three times and hi hi twice so we can see that it's perfectly correlated see so three times for hello and two times for hi so this is perfect we're very close to the uh, to finishing let's just continue uh yeah i also realized that i need to print this one because it's a return All right so now we can plot graph so we could just also plot just go graph and most common we'll pass in the words because the words are going to be on the x so we have x axis at the bottom and y axis vertically most common words and then also our most common values perfect and what is this yeah obviously so we're not finished so now we can what we can do is um we'll just plot it so we'll use seaborn sns dot uh, dot we'll use we can use a count plot but we already have y value so count plot is just counting but you only need an x value or a y value if you want to do it uh horizontally but no we're gonna use a how's it called again a bar plot <laughs> i almost forgot bar bar plot. so you have a count plot and a bar plot so yeah bar plot and this takes x and y and i just realized my my video camera isn't working anymore I don't know why this happens like that. Anyways, I guess it's fine. <laughs> Can't see me anymore. Maybe I'll just... Yeah, you know what? I have a better idea. Alright. Yeah, I'm back again. <laughs> Alright. Put me back in there. And that works. So, snsparplot, we need an x and a y. So, x is going to be most... Or actually x is going to be x and y is going to be y because we already passed them in here and to show it we need to do plt.show that's it and we'll add some stuff like uh, plt. we're going to add like, x label y label and a title and that should be good so plt.y label and that should be like what the y label is going to be <laughs> um or count yeah count should be good and then plt.xlabel. You know what? I, I like to do xlabel first, so I'm just going to put that in the top. xlabel, and it's going to be words. And plt.title, most common words. And that should work. So, yeah, so that's, that should be good for the code. So let's just run it again. So, hello, hello, three times. Hi, 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 and let's see what this does. So apparently, so obviously, oh, I see what we did wrong. So we're passing in most common values and most common values. So that's not what we want. We want most common. Oh, sorry, we're not in the. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, good. So most common words and most common values. Okay, good. Hello, three times. Hi. Hello, hi, hi. And as you can see, it works. So, 
we can see the most common words the title here we can see the count over here so we can see hello three times we can see hi two times and yeah so that's basically the code if you want like to download it uh link is in the description subscribe to me please if you like uh, more videos and if uh, you would like to support me i have a paypal link in the description and stay tuned for more videos thank you